Hello and welcome to the second video in our series on Creoform scanners. In our first video we showed you how to set up and calibrate your scanner, scan your part using positioning targets, then clean up, align, and merge several scans of the same part in order to produce a watertight mesh that could then be 3D printed. So if you missed that video be sure to check it out before watching this one. In this video we're going to show you how to take that mesh and align it to a coordinate system, then create geometric reference entities that will allow you to rebuild your part in SolidWorks. So I have my part here that we scanned in VX Scan, and the first thing I'll do is send that to VX Model because that'll have the tools I need uh, in order to create the entities uh, in order to send it to SolidWorks. And I'll just go ahead and hide the VX Scan. Don't need to see that. And my first task is to align this part to a coordinate system. So the first thing I'll do is create a plane. And here you can see uh, similar normal is selected by default, and that's good. That's exactly what I want. So I'll rotate this to the bottom of the part, hold down the control key, and click here. And that's going to create a plane at the bottom of the part. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Now I'll create another plane on the side here. And for that, I'm going to set a constraint because I want this plane to be perfectly perpendicular to my first plane. So under constraints, I'll select perpendicular axis and then select my plane one. And again, I'll click on this side here and click OK. Now these two planes should be perfectly perpendicular, but just to test that out, I'll click the angle tool and I'll select this plane, plane 2, and then plane 1. And yes, you can see that that's a perfect right angle. So now I need to create my next plane over here, but in order to do that, I'm first going to create a line. I don't need to save this angle, so I'll click No. And for this line, I'll select Constructed for the measurement method. And the construction method will be a two-plane intersection. So that's going to create a line at the intersection of these two planes I select, plane one and plane two. And you can see the preview of that there, that yellow line, and that looks good. So I'll click OK. Now I can create this plane based on that line. And again, I'll click the plane tool. And this time I'll select normal as my constraint and I'm going to set this plane to be normal to the line I just created. Click on this face and then click OK. And that creates my plane which again should be perpendicular to these two planes I created before. Uh, but we can also check that using the angle tool. So plane 3, my newest plane, I'll check that against plane 2 perfect right angle and then against plane 1 another perfect right angle and we already know that plane 1 and 2 are already perpendicular so I have what I need here click OK and lastly for this step I'll need to create a point corresponding to the origin which I want to be uh, this corner of the part right here so I'll select my point tool constructed and for the construction method line plane intersection. So I'll select my line here and then for the plane, uh, plane 3 here. That's going to create that point exactly where I want it. Again I can preview it and that looks good so I'll click OK. Perfect. Now I have everything I'll need to align this to a coordinate system. So I'll click entity based alignment up here. And first I'll select my plane 1. That will be my XY plane. Recenter my part. Uh, next will be plane 2. That's this plane here and that's going to be my XZ plane. And then lastly I'll need to select the origin. So I'll select my point and make that the origin. Now that looks pretty good except my axes are flipped from where I want them to be or from the direction I want them to be. So I'll just go ahead and click click uh, flip normal here and here. And there we go. That looks perfect. 
So click OK to align. And the first step's done. Next, I'll need to create the entities I'll need uh, to send to SolidWorks so I can recreate my part over there. Um, but now that I've aligned my part to a coordinate system, I don't really need to see these entities that I've already created. That those were only for the purpose of aligning that coordinate system. So I can just go ahead and hide those. And now I'll go ahead and define some geometries. So first I'm going to create a plane on this top face here. So I'll select my plane tool again. Uh, now I want this plane to be perfectly parallel to plane one, the bottom plane here. So for my constraint, I'll select normal and then select my plane one. Go ahead and click on the top face. And there is my plane four, which again is perfectly parallel to that bottom plane. And I'll click OK. Next, I'll define uh, this circle and this rectangle so I can know uh, how to do my extrude cut. And I'll select the circle tool. And for the constraining plane, I'll select plane four, which is the top plane again. And here by default, uh, I have similar curvature selected, which is again what I want. So I'll uh, click on the side of this circle, and that's going to create a perfect circle that aligns with that top plane. That looks good. And then I'll do the same thing with the rectangle. Again, I'm going to constrain that to plane four. And this time uh, for the rectangle, I'll need to click on all four sides here. Very good. That looks great, so I'll click OK. Next, I'll define this cone using, of course, the cone tool. And again, I have similar curvature selected. And I'll just click on the side of this face, and that looks good. Of course, that's not a perfect cone, but it will give me enough uh, that I can fix it when I get to SolidWorks. Click OK. Now I want to define the geometry of uh, the main body of this part. And to do that, I'm going to create another rectangle. So I'll click my rectangle tool. Again, I will constrain this to plane four. And then I'm just going to go around and select all four sides of the part. That's what I want, so I'll click OK. And now I just need to account for these uh, sort of cutouts at the corners here and where to cut those. So for that, I'll use the line tool. And we'll constrain that, of course, to plane four again. Here I have a uh, similar normal selected. And so I'll just click on the side here and that creates a line right here. And that's exactly what I want. So I'll click OK. And then the same thing for this corner. And that gives me everything I need to recreate my part. The only thing left is to actually send it to SolidWorks. So I'll cancel out of this tool. And under Entities, I'll select all of the entities I just created to define the geometry of this part. Remember, I don't need these entities up here because those were only used to align to a coordinate system, and that alignment will carry over to SolidWorks. So I don't need these. Uh, now I could carry over my plane one, which remember was the bottom of this part. But since I aligned the bottom to the origin, I actually don't need that. I can just extrude from the origin up to plane four. So now that I have everything selected, I just click transfer to SolidWorks. And that's gonna send over everything I'll need to recreate my part. So that's as far as we'll go in this video. Be sure to check out our next video on our Creaform series uh, on how to rebuild this part in SolidWorks. Yeah.